What's up traders? Welcome back to our YouTube channel Trendline Forex here. Um, what we do every Monday is we go through the chart on Euro dollar and I'm sharing with you what I'm expecting for the week ahead and this week we've got quite an important news. We've got Fed's interest rate decision. We've also got news for the pound, for the Aussie dollar. So it is going to be a quite a busy week. All right now what we're expecting to see here on this instrument is for price to eventually go back to the downside. All right and basically trade inside of the main trend before that though i'm pretty sure we're probably going to see another push higher another retest of the previous high right here and maybe even slightly higher values before we actually see that reversal now before we continue make sure to drop a comment on this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because each one of you who comments on the videos will have a chance to win a free spot into our premium channel and that's where i share daily video analysis for pretty much every instrument that you see on my watch list and the winners will be picked in the next few days so you still some, got some time to enter the giveaway by leaving a comment below this video all right so what we're going to be looking for here on euro dollar i'm just going to drop down to the hourly chart so price is currently trading around 0 0.9940 and i actually think before the news on wednesday or during the news on wednesday we're actually going to see price retesting that previous high and maybe even reaching some higher values as well okay so we're going to be looking for some type of rejection around or just above that previous high here and that's most likely going to happen um on wednesday during the news so the best trading opportunities will actually come after the news on wednesday all right before before that the market is going to try and trick us so what we could potentially see is let's say a drop to the downside and that wouldn't mean that we've missed the move because even if price is down here during the news we're most likely going to see another push higher we're most likely going to see some rejection wicks to the upside during the Fed's interest rates and then we're probably going to see price going to the downside all right we could also see price trading sideways and then during the news we see something like this okay Okay. there's going to be a lot of volatility a lot of fluctuations during the news we're expecting pretty big moves across pretty much all instruments traded uh, with or against the US dollar so that's why we've got to be patient right that's why I'm saying the best trading opportunities will be after the news that's when we will have a confirmation because let's say we see that until Wednesday and during Wednesday before the news we see that price is trading right around this previous high right here if let's say we see a nice rejection wick right here and then we see a candle that that's closing down here well then that's a great entry opportunity we're then going to place our stop loss just above that rejection wick whatever that is and then we're going to expect for price to continue to the downside now when it comes to targets we're actually expecting to see a continuation of the downtrend which means not only levels as low as 0 0.9550 but maybe even lower than that so as you can see we're going to have a pretty decent trading opportunity with a very high risk to reward ratio all we got to do is we've got to be patient with this setup and also other setups that we have on our watch list right now okay now i wouldn't be trading this move to the upside because this is just an idea that would be the ideal case scenario if that happens i'm not saying that price will definitely go above that previous high what we could see instead is let's say price trading sideways then beginning an upside move then forming a lower high lower than this previous one right here and then we could see that reversal happening so that's why we need to observe price action we need to see where we're trading before the news and then we've got to make our decision based on that right so if you are a conservative trader then definitely wait for the news to pass and then look for entries if you want to look for let's say a continuation of the pullback and you want to trade this one to the upside on the lower time frames before wednesday i think it's it's probably better to focus on euro aussie and pound aussie and trade them to the upside because it is very likely that we're going to see a continuation to the upside here on those two cross pairs so i think right now if you want to trade the the, the continuation of the pullback right here you probably should focus on euro aussie and pound aussie and like i said if you want to wait for the perfect setups and increase your win rate then just wait for wednesday see what's going to happen during the um fed interest rates 
and then look for entries all right now if you're not sure how to trade if you don't have your own strategy make sure to reach out to us visit our website trendlineforex.com there's all the links that you need in the description below this video and don't forget to sign up for our free email newsletter that we send every monday and that's where i share more setups and not just euro dollar all right so that's all for now i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching please don't forget to watch our last two videos where you can find more valuable information check out our channel for more trading related videos i wish you all a successful trading and i'll see you next time